up, my cool cats and kittens. Mm. Yeah, okay, hi. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my cheetah print shirt. I felt very like Carol Baskins. I actually took a quiz and I am more like Carol Baskins, so my husband better watch out because your girl knows how to get away with murder, okay? Anyways, so today I am finally testing out the Natasha Denona palette that I did, um, I hauled in my mini haul, like last video that I did. I don't know why I can't talk right now. Whatever. Anyways, so I got this in my last little um, haul that I did on this channel. So if you haven't seen that, you can go check that out. Um, I will link it at the end of this video. But I got this for $12 and I know that Natasha Denona eyeshadows that they're really good, but they're so, so expensive. And for somebody who is going through grad school and doing all that stuff, I had to get a new car because somebody decided to total mine. Oh, she's okay. <gasps> Wow, that could have been like the saddest, <laughs> this could have been the saddest intro ever. I'm going to stop blabbing before I actually break something, but I did this look. If you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. Um, like and subscribe down below. Let me know what else you want to see from me. Okay, bye. All right, so we are going to get started. Um, as I said, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona um, palette that I got for $12. If you hear something in the background, sorry, my dog's just walking around. Um, but as I said in my previous video, when I hauled this, um, I have never used Natasha Denona um, eyeshadows before just because like I'm poor. Um, so I could never really justify $125 on an eyeshadow palette. Like, if Jesus himself made that palette, okay. Natasha, girl, mm-mm. So, I wanted to see if this was going to be worth the money, if they were anything different. Um, I will swatch this. I don't really care about swatches. Honestly, I've found that some eyeshadows, they'll swatch really well, and then they look like crap on the eyes. But some people like swatches, so I will swatch this. Um, also, I'm not really sure because it does have the names on the um, back of the eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if Poison Berry is this one. That's how I think it goes. Um, so Poison Berry is this shade right here. Oh, um, so this is, that was buttery smooth. Okay. Um, and of course I am african-american so on somebody with a lighter complexion that might look really great um for me okay okay i would have to build it up a little bit but like i mean that is not bad at all um then we have blue dahlia which is this color right here it's actually really pretty once again this also feels really good um Ooh, that is a pretty shade. Um, so it's kind of like a duochrome between like a purple and a blue. Um, you kind of can't see it really right now because it's kind of far away. But I will definitely be using that color. Like, wow. Uh, okay. I might be able to justify $125. I don't know. Um, this one is called Raisin, which is super cute. Oh, oh, what happened there? Um... That one came off a little chunky, but it blends out like really well. Um, so that's Raisin right there. I actually really like, I really like this. Oh no. This one is Linen and it is a shimmer shade. Looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, and then I'll have to use my thumb on this one, but this one is called Flint. It's like a brown shade, which I really do appreciate because for me, I always need like a brown type tan color. Um, so that's what it looks like right there. You can't really tell because once again, African American, darker skin. But if you have lighter skin, you would definitely be able to see that. I actually really like that and I will use that as well. I'm going to go in to these wipes that I hate because I bought them. So might as well use them for something. But I'm definitely, and now I'm kind of torn because I want to use... Uh, what was this called again? Blue Dahlia, but that 
gold is really pretty. Linen is super pretty. But I think I'm going to do Dahlia just because, I mean, I always do golds. I did gold in my previous video that I did a while back. So I'm going to switch to blue. Um, so I'm going to do, my eyes already did all of my base, as you can tell. I might look a little crazy, but we're going to get this done. So now I'm just using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my lids and to help those colors show up a little more vibrantly than they would had I not used this. So now I'm going to go into that color Flint. I'm going to put it right between my brow and that MAC Painterly Paint Pot um, just to blend out that harsh line and to make everything more seamless. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Poison Berry and I'm going to lay that down in my crease. I'm gonna pack it in there first before I start blending anything out so that that color really shows up on my lid. And now really quickly I'm going to dip back into flint and buff out those edges. I'll be doing that a lot throughout this video just to keep everything nice and blended. Okay, so now I'm dipping into Raisin. I'm going to put that color on my inner and my outer corners just so I can create that halo eye effect and to deepen everything up a bit. Now I'm going in with a beautiful shade, honestly. I'm going in with Blue Dahlia. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. When I did my other eye, I tried to do it dry and it just didn't have the punch that I wanted it to have. So I wet my brush a little bit and I'm going to start packing it on. I'm not gonna drag it on the lid. I'm just gonna pack it on there so that I can get the most color payoff. So I wiped off some of that excess powder and now I'm moving to my lower lash line. I will be using the Wet n Wild eyeliner in white um, to put in my waterline to open up my eyes a little bit. Now I'm using the e.l.f. eyeliner in black and I'm putting that actually on my eyelid on the bottom um, and I will use that to smudge it out with the other colors that I will get to in a second. Okay so now I'm going back in with Poison Berry and I'm going to run that along my bottom lash line. And now on a fluffier brush, I'm using Raisin um, to mix in with that Poison Berry. I wanted to drag it down a little bit, make it a little more dramatic because why not? Um, so that is what I am doing right now. And now I'm putting more of that 
blue dahlia shade underneath my lashes I thought that would be a cool effect so that is what I am doing right now So now I'm going back in with that blue Dahlia shade. I'm packing it on some more, trying to make it brighter, trying to make both eyes look similar and even. Um, so I did this for quite some time, but you don't have to do this if you're cleaner than I am. So the eyes are now done and I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera. All right guys, so this is the look that I created using the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. I really like this palette. I don't think I can say enough good things about it. I mean, all of the colors, they blended really well. They went on really easily. I didn't really have to work too hard with it. Um, I am very picky, so if it does take me a long time, it's only because of me. It has nothing to do with the eyeshadows. They were the creamiest eyeshadows I think I've ever felt. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't try enough eyeshadows out there, but this was super nice. So if it's still in stock, um, it was only $12. I could not recommend this enough. Um, I will definitely be using this linen shade. I really, really liked the gold because that's kind of the person I am. I always gravitate towards shades like this, but I thought it was really cool to do an all purple look. Um, I just, I really like it. I can't really say anything negative about it um if I became rich sometime in the future um maybe I would spend $125 on like one of her bigger palettes I don't know but these were really nice so definitely go out and pick that up um if you have not done so already it's literally a steal like Natasha Denona eyeshadows for $12 do it go out and buy it I think Sephora is still having free shipping, so $12. Okay, I'm going to calm down. Anyways, um, I do have a couple more videos planned. I got another palette from Morphe um, that I will be testing that one out. Um, I do have some more clothes coming. It's taken a little while because things are shut down and everything, so um, that might be a little bit more in the future, but I will have another clothing haul coming at you. But if you have any other videos that you want to see from me, just let me know. I'm literally sitting in my house, avoiding schoolwork, not doing anything that I want to do, so I might as well be making videos for y'all. So just let me know what you want to see. Please subscribe down below. I do need to, for the older people out there, um, you don't have to pay to be subscribed to somebody's channel. My mother, bless her heart, she believed that if she subscribed, I she would have to pay like a subscription fee. That's not a thing. Completely free. So if that's why you haven't subscribed, you don't have to worry about it. There is no fee for subscribing. So please subscribe. It's 100% free and you're helping your girl out. So do that. I will see you in my next video. Me in it, giant to transform it.